Hello everybody, it's Muriala here once again, and welcome back to another figure unboxing. I know I've been spoiling you guys lately. There's been quite a few of them, but this is the last one for this month, most likely. Maybe there'll be some next month. It depends on delays and when they actually ship. But yes, we have one figure today. And it's in a fairly small box. This one came from Big in Japan. And just as a little hint... We have Felicia von Flamberg. The Felicia is already unboxed. But the reason I pulled her out, aside from her looking amazing, is this figure is part of a set with her. So yes, we have her friend, Yukishiro Fuyuka. Now, Felicia was manufactured by Kotobukiya. Uh, Fuyuka is manufactured by Amakuni. She's a Hobby Japan exclusive, so I had to buy her from Big in Japan. So they're different companies, they're the same style. I think Kotobukiya and Amakuni are kind of splitting the license for this series because they did another set of these characters. Only that time, Amakuni did Felicia and Kotobukiya did Yukishiro Fuyuka. So, I did not get that set. I got this set instead because, I mean, Felicia, goddamn. Fuyuka, I wasn't as interested in as Felicia, but I decided if I was going to get one, I was going to get them both. And she is by what I consider a better company, so quality-wise, she'll probably be better. So we've got paper, and we've got Fuyuka, and she's in bubble wrap. So let's put that off to the side. And there we go. There she is in her bubble wrap. So we'll go ahead and get the bubble wrap open now. It's nice and easy, one piece of tape on each side and then one in the center. I mean, it's bubble wrap, so... Gotta have some fun with the bubble wrap. <laughs> and not only is she wrapped in paper and then in bubble wrap, she is also wrapped in tissue paper. And there she is. So yes, we have Yukishiro Fuyuka. She is from Sword and Wizards, the Emperor of Sword and Seven Lady Knight. Uh, in the Japanese word terms, Haken no Kote no... Haken no Kote to Sichise no Himikishi. So she has some personal data. She is 158 centimeters tall. Bust 85, waist 58, and hip 88. She is an E cup. So a little bit smaller than Felicia. I think Felicia was a G cup. Uh, sculpted by Ikrea Revolve. So yes, this is Fuyuka and her bunny outfit. And yeah, they'll go together very nicely. Uh, like I said, she is manufactured by Amakuni this time, a Hobby Japan exclusive. She is a 1 7th scale figure. And she was released on November 17th of 2017. Big in Japan got her in stock and shipped her out on uh, November 20th. And she just got here on the 22nd. The day before Thanksgiving. Um, I, Since she was an exclusive, I had to pay up front. So I paid 13,990 yen on uh, January 28th of 2017 when I ordered her. So yay. Let's go ahead and get her open. So there are three seals, one on each open side. Um, I don't know anything about the series other than uh, the artist is Nish Nishi Osen, the same guy that did uh, the Hyaka Rowan series and the uh, Seven Deadly Sins. So I think I kind of like his artwork. Uh, the inside of the box is just blue. I think Felicia's had all sorts of little sweets on it. And there is Fuyuka in her blister packaging. So we'll spin her around. We see her serving tray, her booty. And we see that her uh, base is a separate piece this time. Felicia was screwed to her base. So it's a fairly compact box and compact blister. So yay. Shipping wasn't horrible at all. I actually lost out on shipping because they estimated up front and 
it costs nowhere near that much to actually ship her. But in the past, I've had other exclusives that cost more, so it works itself out in the end. So, pull her out, set her off to the side, so that we can get the other stuff out. Because we do the accessories first here. We make you wait for the main event. So we'll start with her base. And it is a, you know, grayish blue and white checkerboard pattern on a brown sculpted molded base. It's actually got some weight to it, actually. And it has two pegs for her. Uh, comparing it with Felicia's, it is just a hair smaller. And coloring wise, I think it's a more grayish than bluish. Then we'll pull out Fuyuka's tray. And come on. There we go. So yeah, it's just a gray fake metallic tray. It's made out of plastic. And you can do a frisbee with it. Um, I was just looking at the picture to see which hand she holds it in. So now we have the main attraction, which is Fuyuka. She has lots of plastic on her. And I do believe that is all of it. So, yes, yeah, she is solid. She does not come apart at the waist. So her little frill does not come off, unlike Felicia. So there is Fuyuka's face. Very lovely eyes, nice and blue. She's looking off to the side. She's got a little, little kind of embarrassed mouth expression on her. And her hair fades to translucent blue and bluish purple. There is her booty and her crotch shot. And if we look, we can see a little bit of butt crack. So that's a nice little touch. Uh, she has wings painted on her apron. And looking at it, there might be a little bit of paint bleed around the edge of the wing. Uh, she does have a vacuum sealed belly button. She has a little bow under her boobs and she has some big boobs. And it must be cold. I mean, she's not really wearing much, so there's a little bit of bumps where certain things would be. She has some nice cleavage, nice little collar. She's got some of the clear plastic poofy shoulders, and she has a nice spine line. Uh, she's got shoulder blades, but they're not very well defined. Uh, she does have her ears, along with her uh, like leather bunny ears. She has some white thigh-high stockings. Nice little touch. I do prefer Felicia's black and white stripes. And she also has the very lovely blue boots. I really love these boots. Uh, looking at her hand, she has painted fingernails. If we can focus on them, maybe. And focusing is a fine art that I have not mastered. And then there is the inside of her hand. So let's get her on her base. Uh, there are... The two peg holds, this one is a little bit bigger, so it goes on the bigger peg. Before we do that, of course, actually I'm surprised. She does stand on her own. Definitely do not leave her like this. She's not very stable, but she does stand on her own. Uh, she just slips right onto her base. It's, I didn't have to push hard or anything. Let's bring her closer. Angle down a little bit. So we'll do a spin around of her without her tray. So yeah, she does, I mean, she does have smaller boobs, but they are still very nice boobs and they are actually quite large. Uh, she's got some sculpting details in her hair and there is some shading in there. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera very well. Um, I do like Felicia's underwear a little bit better, how it's a thong in the back. I've never really cared for the shape of Fuyuka's, but it's really the angle you're looking at her from. Like if we go like that, yeah, it's okay. 
So then her tray goes into her hand and I th think so I think it goes something like that um, trying to look at it it doesn't really show up in the picture on the box very well so I don't know if it's supposed to be with the rim out or with the rim in um, I think it's got to be with the rim out because it doesn't fit in her hand otherwise and it's very loose, it just sets in there, so I wouldn't worry about like paint transfers or anything. But if you bump her, it's gonna fall out. So just be aware of that. So yeah, now we'll do a spin around of her with her tray. And yeah, she looks good. Uh, like I said, I do think I do prefer Felicia a little bit more, but I decided if I was going to get one, I was going to get the whole set. Uh, let's bring her closer now. So we can kind of see a little bit more detail as we spin her. Just the camera just a little bit. She does have a very nice face. I do think the face is done maybe a little bit better because she is not pouting like Felicia, so her face isn't as squarish. But yeah, I think, I mean, I'm not upset or anything. I'm glad I got her. I think she looks good. But I just prefer Felicia a little bit more. But they are a set and they're meant to go together. Shut back a little bit now. Tilt down a little bit. Focus. We'll do a spin around of them both. I do like the little uh, clear effects at the tips of their hair. I think it worked out very nicely. And they do have very luscious booties. Just to compare them. Yes, we can see the booties. Which one do you prefer? And which set of boobs do you prefer? So yeah, this, like I said, is Yukishiro Fuyuka. We'll put Felicia's tray back in her hand. Been around a little bit and they are supposed to go like this that's how the original artwork was so yes Yuki Shiro Fuyuka she is from Sword and Wizards the Emperor of Sword and Seven Lady Knight aka Sword and Wizards Haken no Kote to Sichisei no Himikishi she is manufactured by Amakuni Felicia is by Kotobukiya uh, she is a 1 7 scale figure and is a Hobby Japan exclusive, so you could not buy, pre order her from Amiyami. I got her from Big in Japan because somehow they are able to do exclusive figures. Uh, I ordered her back on January 28th of 2017, paying 13,990 yen, which was $125.02. Gotta have my two cents. Uh, she was released on November 17th of 2017. Uh, she shipped out on the 20th, and I got her today on the 22nd, so EMS was quick. And I'm glad she got here today because tomorrow's Thanksgiving and the post office does not work on Thanksgiving. So yeah. Get, we'll get Fuyuka back in the center of attention and give her one last spin around. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed... I'm out. Bye-bye.